Well, it's 2024 and spring is upon us again. It's not quite here yet, don't get me wrong. We still have a lot of snow on the ground, but we're working towards it really quickly. There's been lots of melting going on and the chickens have been able to get out and do what they need to do and be chickens. We've been able to get out and do some filming. Ba -bam! We had a really surprising bucket video. We didn't know that this was going to happen. Scott also made this really cool box trap to catch predators on the homestead. He went over some chainsaw stuff. They are a little bit overkill, I'll confess to that. And answered some questions about the chains on his tractor. Hey guys, we're out here doing the nighttime grill report. It's so much I'm hoping that the grill report is over for this season. And I'm hoping the plowing is done as well. Until it gets warmer, we're keeping the fire going and it sure does feel good. But we can sit here and daydream about all the fun things that we want to do when it warms up. Like take some more Jeep rides, go on more fun adventures. And sitting by the fire, watching the clouds float by, and drinking our favorite beverage. Dreaming up new adventures to go on. Oh, and we can't forget deck time. The sunsets are to die for. We've officially been off-grid eight years now. When we moved here, the land was mostly sand and we had no real great soil. So in order to get great soil, we started off with chickens and added those to the homestead so that we could get some compost going and create some good soil to build a wonderful garden, which I think we have most of its raised beds again because it's mostly sand so we just build that great soil into the raised beds and it works so well for us to grow our own food. Of course, in continuing to build this great soil, we add chickens just about every year to our flock to add in fresh blood, fresh lines, and to obviously get some great poop from them so that we can turn that into compost with all the wonderful nutrients, all the uh, extra added 
benefits of it to add to our garden. Moving off grid and building on what was already here and creating our own different ways that we want to do things on the homestead has been challenging, but it also has been one of the greatest things that we've ever done. It has opened up so many new avenues for us and just made it a little bit more easy for us to get back to living more naturally, living uh, a cleaner, more laid back life. And in our older years, that is kind of what we look for. There is definitely more work to be done here and we try to do it mostly on our own and it's not always the cleanest jobs but it's better than the alternative. Sometimes it's hard work and it's boring but sometimes it's just what you got to do to keep going. We have tons of plans of things we want to do here on the homestead. What do you have for plans for yours? I hope you enjoyed the update on our off-grid property. Now, if you want to see some more, check out this video on your screen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.